and welcome back to another video we are off to town i'm going to pick up my sister first because she needs to get some stuff after that i'm going to be getting my hair done so those who didn't know this is actually a wig i got it off Shein, so it's got braids so everybody thinks i got braids i'm wearing a hat but it is no nothing nothing there <laughs> it's literally just a wig but anyway gotta get my hair done i can't wait to get that done and yeah let's go <laughs> Am I annoying you? <laughs> Today is hair day. Hair, hair, hair day. It's got a bit of chocolate as well. You're going to really like it. Like, it's going to be a breakfast for you. Yeah. Because you didn't eat any breakfast. Donut Mallet? I want the one that has that has um a spear. Not really. I want an adult. Yes, you want. I'm gonna share it. Try this. Um, I'm gonna share it. Just getting some food for the girls and my mom and my brother in KFC now, and then I drop these to her friend's house, and then we go to the girls to eat. We're quickly back home from um, my parents where the kids had some KFC and I was dropping some off for my brother and my mum as well. But I wanted to quickly show you the stuff that I got in Boots and Superdrug. It's not a lot of stuff, it's literally just four things. Um, but the first thing I got is this palm olive um, shower gel for an upcoming trip. Again, I love this scent. They've got the purple one and the pink one as well, which smell really, really good, but I really, really like the sweet delight smell. And that one was in Superdrug for a pound. And then I also got um, in Superdrug this um, Child's Farm Baby Moisturizer. Um, I think you remember me saying me, it has very sensitive skin. So um, I got this for her because when she was a bit younger, like when she was about two, three, two or three, yeah, from about two years old, her skin would break out. And this is pretty much the only thing I used to use. But I started to put her back onto like normal moisturizer, but it started to come back again. So I'm just gonna go back to um, the Child's Farm moisturizer. You know, it's for sensitive skin. So even if your child has eczema, it's literally so gentle on the skin and amazing. I don't really have like a skincare routine. I don't have that. But when I went to my sister today, she was showing me a few products that she uses. And I kind of thought, oh, let me just try a few things just to see how it will work for me. Um, she's inside. Yeah. So, yeah. So I decided to just try a few things just to see. And I'll update you guys how it actually works for me. So the first thing I got is this Palmer's Cocoa Butter. Um skin perfecting oil everything that it says on there just sounds really good i've got um an even skin tone um so i just thought i'd just give it a go you know i've used um cocoa butter in the past and that was okay but just on my body but i just thought let me just try this therapy oil for the face maybe just maybe it might work for me you know you're just trying to make i'm just thinking maybe my skin could get better um just improve myself really my self-care so um, yeah I'm gonna give that a try and it says within eight weeks it sh I should start seeing a difference I think that's what it says eight weeks it works I'm gonna be using that at night and then I also got oh that one's from boots and I think it was ten pound forty nine and then in super drug super drug I bought this Nivea day cream <sighs> guys one second kids eh 
can't even do a sit down video. Sorry guys, I'm back. I bought this day cream, which is 24 hour moisture, riser, and I think I've got dry and sensitive skin. See, I'm not even too sure what kind of skin type I've got, but when I wash my face, and I don't put on cream, I just get dry, so I'm not too sure, but because I feel really flaky and it feels really tight, like my skin feels really tight if I don't have moisturizer on, I thought I was probably dry skin, I'm not too sure. But anyway, we will find out because like I said, I've not done anything like this before. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna use this um, day cream. Oh, I just thought, let me try the oil at night and then the cream in the daytime. And I see how it goes. This is all trial, guys. So I'm not even too sure how it's gonna work out. But we're trying a thing today. So I will give you all an update with how it's going. I'll probably show you what happens to my skin. Hopefully it's for the better. Let's see if I can elevate my skin. Otherwise, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go for my hair appointment in about 15 minutes. Get myself looking normal again. Get this off. I'll speak to you all in a bit. Morning guys, it is Saturday and we are off to see my friend Mali's godmom. We're just gonna go out for a little um day out. Just me and the girls. It's gonna be really lovely. The sun's not out and I'm really upset about that. But anyway, it should be about 19 degrees, so we're still wearing sleeveless. But anyway, I am so happy with my hair, guys. I love it so much. But anyway, I'm gonna take you guys with us. Let's go meet your godmom. Yeah, Smiley's dog mom. We're gonna go see her now. So we're gonna leave the house in about 15 minutes. Hi. The three of us. So we're gonna go to this park actually. Probably get some ice cream or something like that. All just depends. But it's gonna be a really lovely day and I've not seen her in such a long time. So it's gonna be really, really nice to have a catch up. So let's go. Hi, this is I'm Elsie's famous friend. <laughs> nice Miss to meet Counselor. you. Miss Counselor. Yes, <laughs> Miss Counselor Bud. If you need me, I'm on counselling directory in psychology today. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I'm so finished. But yeah, we're at the park now. The kids are playing. Her child's 12. It's her birthday on Monday. 12 on Monday. So, yeah. And don't be, the sunglasses are not true. It is absolutely freezing out here. <laughs> so, if you do come out, don't forget your coats because you will need it. <laughs> but, yeah, we're out here. Literally. Nice to meet you. I'm glad you're all following my amazing friend. She's an exceptional mother, an amazing friend, and yeah, everyone needs a friend like Elsie. Oh, you're so cute. I know. <laughs> You better the, follow me, like, camera. share, subscribe. She, she's paying me after. <laughs> Where's my wallet? <laughs> so lovely to spend time with Tash and Alicia and the girls they played so much they got sand on their feet yeah it was mad but we're back home now and we are thinking of a mini date night aren't we <laughs> what I got what's the problem <sighs> Mali is so upset because we had to leave the park we have to leave girl we can't be there forever but anyway, we are back home now and yeah, for me. we are thinking about what to do this Nothing afternoon. But anyway, guys, we are going to chill a little bit and then see where Saturday night takes us. We just went to Asda and just picked up a few snacks, some sweets, some Maltesers. 
hospital mm -hmm. and we've got some chili heat wave burritos just to chill we in so squishy. that is our weekend just gonna chill we have, have some, some sweeties and relax with the kids drop my sister and brother home so they can train and then we are gonna go to my parents now i'm wearing my little saint vincent top because the world cup cricket has started and my studios is playing today so we're gonna watch that as well so yeah we're just gonna chill have a good sunday and relax before going back to school and um yeah but the gym was really really hard today like crazy like i'm not really a gym babe so I normally do little workouts from home with body project but we all just decided to go today so we just kind of like just have some sibling bonding time and it's really really lovely but yeah kev is concentrating on the mat oh my goodness and guys did you know uganda's like made it into the um the world cup for cricket so i can't wait for that and guess what we are in the same group as west indies like that day we are not friends babe at all he's not even sitting down like he's standing to watch the world cup west indies is playing so a big loss there we're gonna go watch it now at my parents and eat so let's go guys i'm literally driving while he watches the game Think, I'm, <laughs> I'm a great girlfriend. I am literally oh. driving so he can watch the game. But anyway, let's go. Are done tomorrow is the first day back for school in a lovely half term today's been the best day of the week and it's the last day of half term the girls have actually enjoyed their half term we've not done anything major we've spent a lot of time together like coloring painting going on like walks and we really enjoy stuff like that as a family so it's been really really nice to like just have some bonding time without having to go sleep early or anything like that so you know having fun isn't all about you know isn't always about doing the most but even just having like um time out walking going on scavenger hunts um spending time with family i mean that's what life is i will see you all in a bit maybe tomorrow maybe the next day i don't know <sighs> good night guys hey guys it is monday we are back from school and from work and i've got two huge parcels like a <laughs> i thought i'd show you guys actually what's in these parcels because Molly, oh yeah i thought i'd show you what's in these parcels and these li these two just want to be in the camera so much they're just making all funny faces and all of that anyway let me make our dinner and then i will show you what i got from sheep what i got from sheep
right okay so i finished putting away their lunch boxes and all of that now let's get into the shoe stuff <clears throat> right so the first thing i'm going to show you this is literally like the a mini 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 shoe haul this is some things i've got for like an upcoming holiday and the first thing i got i want to show you in terms of like pairing I'm not gonna try anything on. You'll see that in my vlog when I'm back. <laughs> but I'll show you a few bits and bobs that I got. So I got this little orange handbag. I love the detail, it's so cute. And then I bought the heels, the heels there and the bag. And they literally orange. And I've also bought a bangle to go with it. The bangle's a little bit more neon orange but i think because they're in different places of the body it should work right so that's that the next combo let me call it combo actually that's a good word for it combo is this really cute blue bag it's so cute really really cute blue bag i love just how bright the oh, the blue is and i bought Blue kitten heels, exactly. We are blue kitten heels. The blue heels, the blue bag, and the bangle. So again, when the holiday vlog comes out, you will see exactly how I match this. And thank you, Mali. Mali's given me the bangle because I tend, I'm planning on wearing this golden bangle with the blue and the golden bangle with the orange as well. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this, right? Right. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I've literally turned to a kitten heel girl because, yeah, high heels are just not for me. And with the children and stuff, it's like running after them. I still want to look cute, but still being a mum. So kitten heels all the way. The blue, I think in the camera it looks like it's the same, but it's actually not. But again, I think in real life it will look fine because parts of the body Mommy. like one's up Mommy, one's down on the it? arm so it'll be can fine you try it on? yes you can wear them <sighs> doing a sheen haul with kids Mommy, it's not easy because they want to try the same things on <laughs> anyway hey mommy i'm mommy yes you're mommy <laughs> right okay so next up are these really cute earrings Sheen obviously have got like their ridiculously earrings. crazy amazing deals Mommy, on earrings and i've got the these so i've got ones? They've got the seahorses, sea lions or seahorses and some starfish on them. And the white ones and the gold starfish. Really, really cute. Mommy, These she... ones, which I find Mommy. so pretty. So Mommy. two starfish. Mommy, can and... I have seashell? Okay, but I'm just showing the camera quickly. And then they've got the little shell ones at the bottom. Mommy. These are the last pair. Mommy. The last set that I got, they've got the lovely shells at the top and another clam shell and then those mini shells at the bottom. I just think they're so beautiful to like pair with any like lovely outfit. So I'm this vacation that I'm going on, I'm really going to try and pair things nicely, organize my outfits, not just wear anything. I just I'm planning my outfits properly, not just having stuff in the bag and I'll just see when I get there. I actually want to have a plan as you can tell guys the swimsuit arrived it arrived the swimsuit arrived Ooh. Ooh. this is a swimsuit guys so cute guys the material just feels so nice and just so thick i just love material just that feels so thick and feels so lovely and it's army green and remember in the last vlog i said to him i get some sunglasses to go with it girl so obviously these are these are army green but it's like a different shade but i love the different shades of green when i tell you this vacation i have planned normally i plan for the girls i get all their outfits like head to toe sorted like fully and i just pack stuff and i just see when i get there not this vacation okay so next item that i got actually is another swimsuit Again, it's a one piece and it's this black and white material. This one's not as thick as the other one, but I just really liked. I just think I've got, if you see my other vlogs, I've got this really nice hat that I got that's, um, 
what's it called? Is it a sun visor hat? I've forgotten the name of it. But yeah, it looks like a tennis hat. Yeah, I mean, it looks like a tennis hat. Yeah, and it's really cute with this. And I'm going to pair it with um, this beach cover up, like wrap thingy. <laughs> I'm so silly. Oh my God. But yeah, it's so beautiful. It's the same print, but I love the material. The material is so lovely. It just feels so good. This is something about Sheen. Like, Things are really cheap on there, but you can actually get really nice stuff. This is the Army print swimsuit cover-up, I believe. Yes, it is. And it is long. It's a long... Guys, I'm not standing up for this, but it's this really... Oh, do you know what? I've, I've been inserting pictures to this point, so let me know if feel bad. It's this really long cover-up dress. I just think it will go really well. But it's really long, it's beautiful. I love the cream, the material feels really nice. Yeah, so that's the cover up for the green swimsuit. And Mia's gonna put that. Mia's being so handy actually, she's just passing me everything, which is amazing. So the next uh, the next item I've got is a some shorts. I bought these shorts of Sheen. They're just normal standard shorts, but I've been seeing lots of good reviews about them. You know, just put on a really nice white top or black top or any colour top and some really cute slippers and you are done with an outfit. I think shorts like this are perfect because you can wear any sort of top, any any shoes and you can just make it pop. And I've got this in black as well. Right guys, so that's my lovely mini sheen haul. Like it's proper, it's a mini sheen haul because this is the stuff that arrived today and I thought I'd show it to you. Again... Do you subscribe to my channel because when I do go away, then I will have a vlog for um, my trip, um, the family trip. So you'll see all of this stuff paired together, paired nicely. And if you haven't already watched my, um, if you haven't already watched the children's sheen haul, I've got a girls' kids sheen haul vacation um, haul. So you could head to that video um, and watch what I've, and see what I've got for the girls. Um, some pics I've got for them. But this is like the starter for my stuff and i absolutely love it so yeah sheen hold done so we finished having dinner and um mia's washed up and we're like i'm gonna get ready to do a home workout using body project and kev's off to the gym but i forgot to tell you guys that today is the end of an era with mia um we've come to the end of the tooth fairy guys um since she um started losing her teeth um we've always obviously done the tooth fairy where she put you know she puts her tooth under the pillow and all that but she lost her last she lost a tooth two days ago and um this morning obviously she put it under a pillow last night and this morning we decided to tell her that you know the tooth fairy is me and kev and um that you know is something that we've been doing for her to um get her really excited about you know the teeth coming out and not being worried and you know it's always kept her like really excited and not nervous when like her tooth starts shaking wobbling so you know it, it's so sad because it's something that she's always looked forward to she's always loved the tooth fairy and you know always brushed her teeth and brushed the little tooth when it came out but you know today is that day where it's like revealed to her so i'm so sorry if you had children i will hope the children are not here for this part but anyway yeah this is the little bag um that i've been keeping all her teeth since she started losing them and um she recognized that little um picture because she lost her first tooth in year one and this is what she got for it so I thought I'd just keep it in something that you know I've been keeping them in this little bag that she I would know she would recognize because obviously that was a significant time in her life and all her little teeth are in here guys <laughs> I know it's not like the biggest deal in the world but for me it's just kind of like it's just another thing just to show you like your children are growing up and it's just so hard to watch them grow but you're happy at the same time so yeah today is the last today was it this is it for Mia and the tooth fairy 
but on a positive note um she's really excited to help me with Mally when she starts losing her teeth and you know she's gonna find a name for her tooth fairy and all that so it kind of gave me I was sad but got happy after that because she's really excited to be you know Mally's helper and helping me with everything so I don't even need to get involved as, as much as I used to with her but yeah I just thought I'd tell you that you know she's eight years old now and on the um 3rd of June is when she stopped you know believing in the tooth fairy so yeah I've got all these in here and I've seen on Amazon is it eBay or Amazon they do like this tooth um mold thing where you keep like all your teeth so I think I'll put them all in there for her keep them and probably give it to her if she wants to <laughs> do you know I I just hold on to all my children's stuff like I literally do not like getting rid of anything <laughs> I mean it's teeth but I've kept them all they're all in here except for like one that she lost when she was in London but anyway um all the rest are in here I'm basically holding them but yeah I can't throw them away these are my baby's teeth <laughs> anyway guys I need to go do my workout but I just thought I'd let you know it's the end of an era with my firstborn and the tooth fairy but you know i have mali to be excited about to start it all again but it's good to kind of give your children that time to kind of um it's good to come out with certain things sometimes even if it's really hard um you know i know i have heard some children who do talk about the tooth fairy not being real in her year group you know and in that age range so i just didn't want her to find out that way so i just thought you know what this is the better way to find out where we actually tell her rather than her being shocked and you know that sort of thing so yep if you were looking to do it and your child's about eight nine i mean they're getting older they're soon going to like high school in the next like three years so they rather just know now especially things like tooth fairy um but yeah i just want to share that with you very very big moment for us for mia but it's become a positive one in the end so let me go do my workout I thought I'd share that with you guys. Yeah, little two.